Caressing McKnight sent me this story that is coming out of clearly Oklahoma. Now, I don't have a picture of the person I'm about to talk about, so I had to find a picture of the uh, school, well, the uh, logo for the school, in order to convey what I'm about to discuss here. So, apparently, there was this college recruiter who was coming to uh, the school to, uh, you know, you know how people, when they're going to transition from high school to college and people go and they talk to different uh, college recruiters to see if they would be a fit for the university. Well, this sounds, what I'm about to explain to you, it sounds like a damn auctioning block. It sounds like a, I guess you can say, and the thing is, I don't even like using this term because I know what it can lead into, but this story does have a hint of colorism in it, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So basically what happened is you had this college recruiter had come to the school and basically was talking to these black students, but what they did was is they ended up lining them up in a row from darkest to lightest. It looked like a color wheel, like a color spectrum. Then they started to line them up based on hair texture. Well, whose hair was, in their words, the nappiest to the more finest. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg right there. I haven't even gotten to the story yet. And when I look at this right here, and this is Oklahoma Christian University. Two words, Oklahoma and Christian. Enough said. A college recruiter has been fired after a controversial visit to a prestigious high school after he asked students to line up based on the color of their skin complexion and by who had the quote unquote nappiest hair. The incident occurred when a college recruiter for Oklahoma Christian University visited Harding Charter Preparatory School in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and allegedly told the students it was time to play a little game, according to ABC News Raleigh station WTVD. He barely talked about the school itself, said Rio Brown, a student who was a part of the exercise. I could already see through his BS. Basically, he wasn't really knowledgeable how to speak to people, even in an, even in a diverse school. The recruiter, who was white, then asked the high school students, uh, high school juniors in attendance to self-organize into a lineup from darkest skin complexion to lightest skin complexion. And it didn't stop there. He told us to line up nappiest hair in the back and straightest hair in the front said Corey Todd, another student who was at the assembly. That is when I felt uncomfortable. I was like, okay, this isn't right. Brown continued. The students weren't the only ones who were offended. Teachers left, said Todd. They were crying and they were offended. Their faces just looked disgusted. I know they had a talk with him after, like that's not okay. Oklahoma Christian University took swift action against the recruiter once they learned of the incident, according to a statement released by the school. The OC admissions counselor who visited Harding, Preparatory, Harding Charter Preparatory Academy on Monday is no longer an Oklahoma Christian University employee. The statement read, OC admissions leadership did not approve the inappropriate activity in advance and has communicated closely with Harding administration since the visit. Admission staff are scheduled to visit the academy Monday to apologize to Harding students and staff on behalf of the university. The recruiter has not been identified by either Harding's Charter Preparatory School or Oklahoma Christian University. Well, they should identify him. We should know who that person is, especially since this is not a minor. This is a grown adult and they have been fired their image and their name out there i don't know why they decide to give cover to these individuals i mean i know why but i don't know why if you get what i mean harding charter principal steven stefanik also released a statement saying the school condemns the recruiter's behavior our community from its inception has valued diversity, inclusion, and a safe and supportive learning environment. We will continue to do so. It is just horrible, said Todd. I hope it's a wake-up call because many people at the school need to hear how we feel. But yeah, that, like I said, it sounded like an auctioning block. He had them light. He had them lined up from darkest skin person to lighter skin and then put the people who had the nappiest hair in the back to the ones who had the more finer hair in the front. So we already know that when it came to the quote unquote nappy hair, that that was that was basically all the black students. And when they say darker skin complexion, we know that was the lighter. Uh, I mean, the uh, black students as well. My thing is, what did his little exercise have to do with him recruiting for the school? That actually also, now that I think about, puts a bad look on the school because then it's going to make 
um, people who may want to go there look make it seem like that's what they'll have to go through in order to even just talk to a recruiter. But this person came in there with ulterior motives because I've never heard of a college recruiter doing something as, something like this as an exercise. This person just was a, a straight up and down racist point blank period. But like I said, I still believe they should have identified who this person was before they, you know, I mean, even after they fired him. That way we can know who he is and then he won't slip out the back door and try to get a job somewhere else. Not only for our purpose of knowing who he is, but also so other people, maybe other potential employers know not to hire this guy. Let him become blackballed in this, uh, this, uh. I guess you say industry, but I'm saying he, but the thing is, we don't know if it, it could be a she because they never specified a name. They didn't say what her gender was. We just know that the person was um, palm colored. It could have easily, like I said, been a woman that did this. Don't underestimate that palm colored female thinking that she won't do what her man does, if not worse. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.